Hey everyone, welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee. And it's of course me, Banshee, for my Material Matters segment, your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. So welcome to the show, everybody. As we always do, I start out with a card for the collective. So today I am using the Seed and Sickle Oracle deck. By created by Fez Inkwright. It's a very interesting deck that's a little bit multifaceted here. So I'm going to be drawing two cards today and seeing what I get. They're fairly brief for the most part. <laughs> Some are a bit longer than others, interpretations. All right. I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to take one from the top and the bottom. This is just, I'm incorporating my own spin to this deck. And it's interesting because we're going to be reading from the dusk portion of the deck for both of these. The first card is number nine, Chickweed. And the second card is Rose Reversed. And by the way, this is, like I said, my own way of working with these cards. They're both reversed. But the reversal just means you either read from the Dawn book or the Dusk book. And the Dusk book is about our mental state, emotional well-being. Let's see how it's going to affect us in the material world. Chickweed is number nine. I'm at 19, I'm at 14, I'm at seven. Here we are. Early flowering herbs, which appear when the rest of the world is still cold and bare, are full of valuable nutrients, proof that things are returning to life. Chickweed is one of the first herbs to grow in spring and is eaten in the spring festivals around the globe to bring longevity and health. A series of small blessings are due to appear to you, so be sure to make the most of them. They may appear modest and insignificant, particularly after such a long period of struggle, but the benefits and good fortune they will bring are numerous. Let's see how that fits in with our other card, Rose number 41. Almost there. Okay, Rose is not. There. Okay, hold on. My apologies as I lean through the book. I don't want to lose my other page. And... Up oh, it is the start of, well, here it is, rose. Okay. Hanging a rose from a ceiling, a tradition which started with the Romans and continues today, indicates that any conversation which takes place in its presence must be kept in strictest confidence. It's time to finally tell that secret that's been gnawing at you. Choose your confidence carefully. It may be that they have something they also been wanting to share. Your relationship can only grow stronger through trusting each other. So I guess now is a time where some small blessings will be appearing to you. Some may seem rather insignificant, but maybe, you know, and so maybe you just want to kind of keep it to yourself, but it's kind of time to share that with others. Others may be able to provide you with some insights that, who knows, could help these little small blessings turn into bigger ones or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. So I do think they fit nicely, and those are our cards for the collective. I may play with this again sometime and do it a little differently next time when I work with it. 
So that is the Seed and Sickle Oracle. All right, everybody, let's get on with the readings for the elemental signs of the zodiac. And before we do that, usually talk about the astrological outlook for the week ahead in brief, uh, any major events going on. And actually, it's a pretty quiet period. The uh, readings are good for the week of December 5 through December 11. The moon is uh, traveling on Sunday. Today, Sagittarius Capricorn, it's going into Capricorn, and it will be at the end of the week in uh, Pisces, going into, of course, my sign of Aries. Hanukkah ends on December 6th. And that's about it. <laughs> you know, second quarter begins this week at the end of the week. And really, there was not much going on on my astrological calendar. But no. So let's move on to our readings for the week ahead. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This reading is for you for the week ahead. I bet you guys are busy, you air signs. It's a whirlwind of activity at this time of year. The holidays coming. All right. Let's see what we have for air signs. It's the fool reversed. <laughs> Boy, this, I, I, I always say I see the fool a lot in our material readings, upright or reversed, because you know, in the business world, it is all about taking risks and taking gambles. You've got to take chances. You've got to trust fate sometimes. But the fool is reversed this time, air signs, and I'm feeling as though this is a week not to take any, you know, the focus is on how to kind of lay low. <laughs> you know, how not to go out on a limb this week if you can avoid it, you know. This is about maybe staying with the status quo this week. At least that's the focus. You don't want anything to upset the apple cart right now. How best can you prepare for that focus? Mm -hmm. We have the two of cups reversed. Well... Like yowzers, <laughs> the two of cups reverse to how best to prepare for this focus, focus of not uh, taking risks. Well, I could look at this two ways here. Maybe it's time to sever a partnership that just has proved too risky, has proved that, you know, it's been costing you in some way and you feel like maybe you need to pull back from this. Maybe you need to pull back from a relationship with uh, mentors and advisors that have not been serving you well or a job that is not, you know, paying you well. But on the other hand, depending on your circumstances, you may want to think about this air signs. It may indicate that, you know, uh, maybe it's a risk staying in this partnership right now. Or maybe it's a risk not staying. How should I say this? It's a risk to stay. It's a risk to go. Whoa, you have to decide what it is that's going on here. I feel there's some risk involved in either the people that are advising you, the people you are working with, uh, the job you're in right now. There's just some risks that maybe aren't worth taking anymore. So think about that. Think about what that means to you. And people around you right now, look at this. They're they're like holding on. They're holding back even maybe to some extent here. I feel like maybe they feel it's in their best interests to do so, seeing some uncertainty and some difficulties uh, associated with this risky situation that's going on. So it's kind of like they're playing their cards close to their chest. They're maybe holding on to resources that you would like to get a hold of. Maybe that's part of the issue here is they're not willing to commit to something that you wanted a commitment for. So we'll have to go and sort all of this out. This looks like a rather complicated week for you guys. Whoa, to put it mildly. So will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all air signs? Watch your backs this week in the material financial world. Uh, just pay attention to what people's motivations might be for making the decisions that they are making. Uh, you know, look for 
I mean, be a, be on alert for possible sneak attacks of some sort. You know, whether this is coming from your competition, if you're in, uh, you know, some big uh, competitive atmosphere. I definitely, and if you're having some office politics, certainly, certainly <laughs> watch your back. Wow, this is kind of a real uh, pivotal reading for you guys here. I feel that this is not a time for you to take an unnecessary risk. So if that means staying in a relationship or a partnership or a business venture or something longer, then do so. But if it means leaving it behind, you know, by all means, make the change you need to make. Because if it's costing you money, resources to be there, if you feel you're wasting your time and energy there, you're not being fulfilled there or appreciated there, maybe, you know, it's a risk worth taking. But be aware, this is a very topsy-turvy energy here. And I feel that, you know, you have to you have to determine what's in your best interests because guess what? Other people <laughs> are looking out for themselves here. They're looking out for themselves. They're trying to feel, they're trying to see how best they can profit off of this. They're trying to see how best they can take advantage of a possible, you know, negative situation for you here. I, and ultimately it's showing here that there's some underhandedness or unfairness that you experience by weeks on. The only good news in that scenario is always with the Ten of Swords is that once this is done, it's done. You know, there it's over and you can move on from there once the dust settles. But be aware that, uh, you know, whether it's some office politics, somebody trying to get credit for something you have done, somebody trying to steal business away from you, something is up and just watch your backs this week, air signs, and good luck with that. Who? <laughs> well, Fire signs. Hi. <laughs> Let's hope things are less fiery on our end in that regard, huh? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is for us for the week ahead. Let's hope the only fireworks this week for you are fireworks and celebration. Right. Ooh, hey, your focus for the week ahead is the High Priestess reversed. So, so we're just not in tune with things this week. We should be picking up signs and signals, you know, and we're not. Uh, we're not listening to our gut on particular things. And, you know, that has a way of costing us ultimately. Uh, you know, it could be setbacks. It could just be the fact that we miss opportunities because we've misconstrued some signals or just didn't get the message. Now, how best can you prepare for that focus? It's the Seven of Wands reversed, which also indicates to me that I see here the interplay. You're really... You know, it's almost as if maybe something, some signals or messages were trying to warn you about a situation up and coming that you needed to prepare for. And so you're coming into the situation a bit unprepared, not quite on solid ground. You feel as though, uh, you know, that, that maybe you, you, uh, you don't have a leg to stand on. I hate to put it that way, but it's because you haven't been able to prepare an argument or rebuttal on something or uh, maybe back up some claims or some, uh, some um, proposals that you have. Maybe you haven't adequately been able to stand up for, you know, them. Let's see what this next card will bring here. And look at that. Uh, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is up right here. I feel as though, um, oh, wow. I, this is another one of these cards that I could kind of look at two ways here. I feel like this is a week where you can't rely so much on others. You have to be the one to be clever and look out for your best interests here because others may be out for their own agendas this week. And see here, you know, are, are they actually stealing your ideas? Are they actually 
uh, trying to take credit for things that, you know, you should be getting credit for. This kind of reminds me a little bit of what the air signs are going through just a little. And I feel as though, you know, you kind of have to, this could also be you here as the person with those swords. You have to protect your interests this week. You have to do what you can. You can't rely on others to do it for you. So ultimately, will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for air signs this week? I'm sorry, fire signs. Fire signs. Uh, it's the Ace of Swords reversed. So I feel that much is going to happen for you this week. Not much is going to come out of this energy. And as a matter of fact, any supposed gains that you may have will ultimately prove to be kind of an empty victory. Kind of like... You know, is this all we, is this all there is, you know, kind of feeling after it? If all is said and done, maybe it was something you had a lot of high hopes for, but it just didn't turn out in the end. So let's go over this again, you guys, and see what's going on for your signs. It looks like intuition and your gut is just not picking up the things you need to about what's going on around you. You don't seem to have the pulse on things in your material realm. And um, therefore, it seems as though, you know, you've, you're, you seem to be a little bit shaky this week. Like you don't have a firm grasp on everything that's going on and you, you feel like you're on shaky ground. Maybe you're trying to defend some moves or actions you've taken or some proposals that you were presenting to your supervisors. There's just not a buy-in. And over here, it looks as though that's true, that ultimately you have to do whatever it is you can to protect your interests and to stand up for yourself here because nobody else is going to do it for you ultimately it seems as though again they are looking to maybe gain from you know your mistakes or your oversights here and ultimately it, it just spells nothing good it smells an empty victory at best or no victory at all no movement forward as you try to sort your way through this kind of tangled web that we have this week here Ooh, ooh, good luck, fire signs. Hmm. Gee, and it's really funny because there must be other things astrologically I just haven't picked up because I'm just, you know, kind of an armchair astrologer here at best. And so there must be something else going on affecting because we've got already two difficult, challenging weeks ahead. So, hey, water. <laughs> You want to take a swim in this? <laughs> Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this reading is for you. And as you know, I usually get rather thirsty about this time. So I'm going to grab my water. I'm going to cut the cards first for you. All right. Okay, water signs. Man, let's see what we've got cooking. Ah, well. <laughs> it's King of Pentacles reversed for you water signs. We're off to this kind of difficult start again. I think in this case, well, maybe you're just in a little bit of slack mode. You know, everybody kind of, you know, because of the holidays, because of other matters, maybe people are planning trips or traveling. There's this, there's this uh, letting go of uh, some of responsibilities and things we have in the other areas of our life, like the workplace, you know, often, you know, in pre-COVID world anyway, there are a lot of office parties and things that went on and, uh, you know, uh, lunches out, dinners out, etc. So I think that we're just in an attitude of kind of slacking off or lightening up on our duties and responsibilities. And unfortunately, that could have some negative implications. So let's see what the other card is that's attached to this. Okay, so maybe you are kind of falling back because you're con you've got some worries 
or concerns. That's the Seven of Pentacles upright. You're kind of now in a period of reassessment. Also, maybe this is end of the year stuff. This is a time to reassess how far you've come or not. And maybe in your mind here as the King of Pentacles reversed, you're feeling that in some ways you've been coming up a little short. So now is the time to reassess what more can you do to grow your business? What more can you do to grow your investments? What more at this late stage can you students do to uh, improve your grades? So it's time to really think about what can be done to help in that regard. Oh boy, what about people around you? Well, we got another, we got a first repeat card. Let's see, swords reversed. So the swords reversed is indicating people around you are Okay, if, if these are people who work for you, or maybe even your advisors, they really aren't seeing the prize here in what you're trying to do. They're not seeing a positive result. They're not seeing you really marching off to victory. They feel like some of your efforts are going to fall flat. Maybe they'll try to offer you some advice or suggestions in order to, you know, as you're doing your assessment here that might help you turn things around. That's the best case scenario here. But I feel like they're not, they're not enthused about the way things have been heading here. So let's look ultimately at where things are heading. Will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all in the week ahead? You have the magician. The magician is upright. It's really nice to see at the end here. So I think ultimately by week's end, you're going to start to get it together here. You know, maybe assessment is going to be over and now it is the time to channel everything you got, you know, at your goal to manifest it. So I see by week's end a more concerted effort out of you, your water signs to manifest your dreams, goals, and desires here. Um, I don't know that I see that you actually get it, but I see you totally putting your will and dedication towards it now. So that's a far turnaround from where we started in the week ahead. So let's go back. The King of Pentacles reversed here is indicating a little bit of laziness, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, kind of a lackadaisical, lazy, laissez-faire attitude towards your business right now. And the King of Pentacles reversed, you know, I mean, he's not in his game here. Uh, they, they, you know, this is a this is where you could be dropping the ball on some important opportunities or goals if you're not careful. But it's possible here that you are just trying to step back so you can assess things. And if that's the case, okay, just make sure you're paying attention to all the indicators to make sure nothing is going on while you are taking this assessment, looking at what more you can do to grow things, what more you can do to ensure a positive result and success. And I feel that people around you right now are just uh, concerned, I would say, to say the least. They realize that um, maybe there are some decisions that have needed to be made that have not happened, you know, with you taking this, you taking this, you know, step back from things. Maybe they realize, or maybe they're just wondering, what is in it for us, really? Are we really going to gain? Are you really going to gain through doing what you're doing? Ultimately, I feel like you're going to listen to what maybe they have to add to this discussion. You're going to be doing your own assessment, and you're going to start channeling all of that into working towards, you know, your goals. And if all goes well, they should succeed. So good luck. You have everything you need, according to that magician upright. Hey, Earth Signs. All right, let's make sure no mountains stand in our way to making some money this week. What do you say, Earth Signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, this reading is for you. All right, let's see what we have. 
earth signs. Well, it's more positive than if it were upright. We have the nine of swords here. Your focus for the week ahead is on recovery. Recovery and healing, I feel, in a different way than, you know, say like the four of swords. I don't mean this in a physical sense. I feel like anxieties, you know, some of your anxieties and fears or self-doubts, you're finally getting a little bit more of a handle on them and recognizing, you know, what the real fears are and what the illusory fears are that you've been experiencing. And you're ready to move forward in a more positive, a little bit more self-confident direction now. Look at that. And speaking of move, <laughs> how best can you prepare for this focus? By getting on the move by communicating with people, by by checking in with people, by following up on things, by connecting with others, making new connections. The Eight of Wands is all about movement and energy and, and sending that energy out there and directing it in a positive direction towards your goal. So I feel you're going to be communicating with a lot of people. Uh, I think that also uh, you, you will be on the move in some ways. You are going to be very, very busy this week. So by all means, make sure you're getting plenty of rest and you're keeping your energy levels up. What about people this week? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> We have the lovers here. This is not emotional exchanges, but what a nice card, eh? So you have the lovers here. And yes. Oh. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Uh, yes, my producer, Mr. Emotional Exchanges himself, chimes in. So the lovers here is like, well, could we get a better situation with the people around you right now? You know, they're they're here for you. They are here. They want you to know that, you know, they are not part of the problem. They are part of the solution. They want to partner with you. I believe that's pretty evident by that lover's card. And I think that they will be good, fair, and equal partners with you to move things now in a more positive direction. Will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for you? Well, I think our friends, the earth signs, are the winners in the week ahead. Look at that. You have the three of pentacles upright. Three of pentacles upright is awesome here because I think it indicates that your efforts, your moves forward, your progress, your ability to overcome fears and anxieties and make the steps you've needed to make are going to be recognized by others. They are noticing you for your good work. Who knows? Maybe there might be a raise in pay or some bonus or some rewards coming to some of us for their efforts. Students getting A++++. <laughs> so... Let's go over this again and take a look at this. In It's a pretty darn good reading. Really, at the beginning of the week, I think you're overcoming any fears, anxieties, any mental roadblocks you have towards moving yourself in a positive direction now. And that is backed up by the Eight of Wands, which is saying you are raring to go. You are raring to talk to people, communicate, collaborate, uh, share energy, move energy, move things forward, work hard. I think all of that is generated by Eight of Wands energy here. And it's paying off because people around you are equal partners in whatever it is you've got planned. They are in. And uh, they want you to know that they stand with you. And ultimately, you look at that. I, You know, when I see this card, the Three of Pentacles, I get so many things off of this card, especially in this deck, because, okay, we have somebody who's clearly working here. You know, they've got a bucket here. They're doing stuff. There's somebody looking and evaluating. They're watching, and they're, lear they're either learning or... Or they're assessing and evaluating, and it's all positive. Uh, and also, just the fact that this person is climbing a ladder says a lot. And so I feel here that whatever is whatever is starting to gel here is going to take you places. It's going to elevate you in some very, very positive ways. So, bravo, Earth Signs. Glad to leave you with that happy note. Well, everybody... That's my show for today, but I want to remind you this is December. 
and we will have special programming planned. We are planning another past life pop-up, and there will be another special pop-up on Christmas Eve. Look for that later. It's going to be a very, very interesting show. We'll be giving you more information as the days go on. Also, Mr. O's Emotional Exchanges, every Friday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out to get the emotional pulse on things. I'm going a little backwards here. Goth Tarot, <laughs> Wednesday mornings at 8 a.m. And look into the shadow sides of your life and get some insight on, you know, working with your shadow. And, uh, you know, what's becoming more popular every day, every time we do it, Happy hour! <laughs> Our Saturday morning single card message from Spirit, positive, motivational. Join us for it. It'll uplift you for the week. That's our goal. That's our aim. And we hope you come in and, and take part in that. And finally, don't forget our live stream Sundays and Thursdays, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sundays, 7 and 9 p.m. on Thursdays, where we'll read a little bit more extensively for you. That's the show today. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.